Hello, welcome back to RimWorld. Uh, gonna be a short period of rest, I think, while people get treated in the hospital. Uh, quite a few injuries. Last episode we just took care of uh, some robots, but yeah, there's still a few lurking around we're gonna have to also clean up before we can loot this area safely. Uh, and we do have some stuff on the map we can take care of as well if we get round to it. So lots of quest locations, we also have the sun blocker we need to take out as well. Uh, and tons of stuff to build as well. Still working on the exterior stuff. More um, walls to go down here before we put in new geothermals. Gonna try and get some more farms down here as well. Uh, and we have Zakar on a an ambrosia binge due to being malnourished. Okay. Looks like he's just eating food at the moment. Do we even have ambrosia? Uh, oh, a little bit. 37. Well, I guess you can have fun with that. Um, one thing I did notice, unfortunately, is Q got injured pretty badly in that last uh, encounter we had. Lost her left kidney. So, we already have, I think it's Pumpy who needs a kidney as well, right? Yeah, also his left one. Um, but I don't think we have a way of making kidneys. Um, I was looking at the bionics research. Kidney's not in the list, unfortunately. It doesn't seem to be one of the unlocks either. So I'm not sure. What about up here? Biosculpting, bioregeneration? Unlock the Biosculptor Pod's bioregeneration cycle. This cycle heals old scars, regenerates small lost body parts like fingers and toes, cures many of the physical maladies that come with old age. That does not sound like it would regrow a kidney either. I guess we should just be on the lookout for uh, kidneys. Porpoise just got to crafting skill 9, I think that was. That's pretty cool. That uh, 19, I mean. Planet leading master. God damn. Currently making a bionic leg so that we can try um, surgery on Natoxpo again. And that also reminds me. Uh, Young, how close are you to 61% certainty in Ancient Justice? Let's just try and convert him again. Uh, did Coco ever get tended? Yes. Anyone else dying of terrible injuries? Doesn't look like it. Young dropped to 32, okay, not bad, not bad. Uh, Lekapenos also missing a left kidney, right? Always the left one. Uh, Natoxpo missing a leg still. Uh, Q is tended, Minla's tended, Wall is tended. Yeah, it looks like everybody got some attention in the hospital at least. That's good. Right. Um, I think everyone is still assigned to the emergency zone. How long? I've played this game now, what, at least 70 hours. I still can never remember where the schedule thing is. I always look at schedule, assign, I'm always trying to <laughs> figure out where it is. Okay. Everyone's in the home zone currently. Right, okay. You can all go back on the emergency zone. And I think that's safe away from the robots? Yeah. But we need to recover these um, power cells. Finish off these robots when we can. Lots of wild men on the map as well, huh? I wonder where that is. We have another fight breaking out. Quite a few people on mental breaks, but Camdor I think is still psychotically wandering, yeah. The car is binging on Ambrosia. Uh, young slandered Zukov's animal taming ability. Which is pretty disgusting. Uh, Young then said a word about boots to Suhov, so, you know, I guess they made up afterwards. Right, I've drafted some people, because now would be a really good time to get the robots while they're, they're like, in really good places in terms of like, being able to get near them. Because they're not going to have line of sight on us as we approach if they stay here, so maybe we can get lucky and get out to them. Although I've... Our base is very big. We are kind of spread all over. It takes us a long time to get anywhere. Let's see though. I've just drafted everyone that isn't injured currently. And Pumpy is a little bit too slow though. 
And the Toxpo too. Oops. Alright, we'll just go with these guys. Should still be able to sneak up on them. Oh, I should use um, Smoke Pop on Minler as well. That would probably be pretty useful. Oh, especially now when it's coming out. Well, let's see if I can get on this thing quickly. Put everyone in some kind of cover. Does not seem to be shooting back, which is pretty good. What? Why isn't it shooting back? Do they not have weapons? <laughs> Wait, it looks like they don't have weapons, huh? Because usually when I, I select one of the robots, you see the weapon, right? That's kind of weird. Maybe it's because I used the shot clans? Can they drop their weapons? That seems a bit odd if they can. I guess I'm not complaining, but it seems a bit cheap. Alright, well, whatever. Um, so we've secured this area now as well, which is good. Do the uh, emergency zone properly. Right, I've permitted them to pick up the uh, loot. Oh, some steel too. Uh, also need to recover... how many of these did we get? Three unstable power cells, that's pretty good. We'll get those as well. Alright, good stuff. Uh, extreme break risk, Suov. Uh, serious pain, insulted, hungry, recreation... a lot of people are hungry, huh? Losing meals pretty fast. We should have crops soon though, I've got like all the wildlife set for hunting too. I guess I'll get round to it eventually. Maybe it's like lurking on the very edge of the map, outside the <laughs> permitted zone. Could be. Ah, yeah, they're right on the edge of the map. Probably why they're not getting hunted. Hmm. <laughs> Losing some uh, fresh meat to the pigs as well, but um, well, I guess we just lost an entire horse to uh, pigs. Uh, you know, one day the hayfield will grow, I'm sure. Right, right, the sun is blocked. That's, I just remembered. We need to actually get rid of the sun blocker to grow stuff outside. Uh, good point. That has to be my next priority after uh, some more people are healed. We'll take care of that next. Ah, a far more professional looking mortar room. Fantastic. Love to see it. Uh, and an aurora too. It's going to be interesting with a sunblocker. Alright, going to send a small caravan, well, quite a few people, <laughs> but mostly a small caravan to uh, the sunblocker. I think it's literally just guarded by two elephants, so maybe it won't be too bad, but... I mean, I guess elephants are kind of scary, though. I'm bringing a lot of long-range firepower so we can kill them before they get near us. Hopefully. Ah, uh, the people assigned to the caravan immediately becoming major break risks. <laughs> guess this was a bad time to form the caravan, but whatever. At least they're leaving now. Uh, best of luck to them. And we have a new bionic leg, too. So, uh, Natoxpo, third time's the charm. Oh, I actually put him on the caravan. It's probably a mistake, but oh well. Timberwolf hunt hunting porpoise for food. What kind of weapon you got? Can you take on Timberwolf? I'll have Q come over and help you. Anyone else nearby? Really? 
Um, can you outrun a Timberwolf? Timberwolf is 5 move speed. You are... 3.5, no. Okay. I think you're going to have to try shooting it while Q comes and saves you, because there's no way we're cutting that at all. Okay, this is a bad start. Didn't hit him even once. Desperately waiting for Q to come over and solve this problem. I have no hope of running from this thing, right, so... Oh, is now dead in five hours. Four hours. Not looking good. Alright, well, Q instantly one-shots it. Um, can you ten, poor voice? Yep. Oh, right, you have to be drafted. Hopefully he'll be okay. Uh, my legendary guy with 19 crafting skill. Uh, did you lose any... Wait, did you... Have you always been missing an arm? I guess he's always been missing an arm, and I've just never noticed. It doesn't look like the wolf did anything to his arm. Um, you should probably fix that then, to, so that he can actually craft stuff more effectively. With his good skill. It does kind of look like he's dying, doesn't it? How much medical skill do you have, Q? Uh, two. Well, you're not the best person to save him. Wall isn't too far away. He's got 11 medical skill. Maybe he can do a better job. It looks like he's gaining hours, though, so I don't know. Maybe he's fine. Alright, I think poor voice is going to be fine. He's just in mind-shattering pain currently, but that's okay. Yeah. Let's go take care of him. Also, has my caravan stopped? Uh, yes. It was a 0.2 day journey, I, I thought it was just going to get wrapped up immediately, otherwise I would have given them some uh, bedrolls, but oh, oh well. <laughs> Another mistake. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, poor boys now has an infection. Also not great. Uh, we do still have Veniman back home though, so... I'll send him over to do some medicine. Uh, caravan has arrived at some blocker. Right, so there's the elephants. Uh, wait, Lekka, how are you injured now? Hmm, I'm not sure about that. That is a lot of gunfire. <laughs> we have both Hamster and Minla here, who have the extremely good uh, machine guns. Alright. Let's destroy this thing then. We have way too much firepower to use a door. Just go check on poor boys. Did you get tended? Yes. 
70% uh, quality, not great. Any minute, I keep being disappointed by your um, your medical uh, demonstrations. All right, well, it's the sunblocker taken care of at least. Anything else we want to do here? I don't think so. Just reform the caravan and get out of here. Oh, anything we want to do on the way back? What is God? Oh God, cancel. Uh, what's this one? Farming work site. 17 people, but 2,000 potatoes. I mean, there's no harm in just, you know, sticking our heads in and just checking, see what it looks like, right? Oh, this is true. We might not have enough mass to actually carry all those potatoes anyway. Let's just see. I can always just send another caravan over with more horses, I suppose. Inland's caravan has run out of food. Sounds like a job for 2,000 potatoes. <laughs> That'd be pretty good. Uh, right, let's see. Because maybe these guys are just like tribes or something and it'll be pretty easy to just mow them down. I do see a solar panel though, so perhaps not. Any turrets? I can't see at a glance any turrets. Um... <laughs> Oh god, it's gone on fast speed. Pause, 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 pause. Okay. Right, these are modern weapons. They're pretty short range so far, though. Um. Ancient concrete barrier. Do you give any cover? Yes. I mean, if I position people here, and we just kind of spray them as they come around the corner. It might be fine, right? <laughs> I just need Natoxo to get line of sight on just one of them. Vic. Go with a knife. Alright, you can hit the doorway now, so that should be fine. All right, they're attacking my colonists. <laughs> this might be a mistake, but it's kind of interesting. All right, we definitely want to get rid of that shotgunner quickly. Uh, Minla. Could have you used Chaos Skip. If it goes off instantly, that might be useful. All right, she just died straight away. Uh... Can we just mow down this guy before we need to actually kite him? No. Okay, now we've got grenades too. This is a mistake. Should not have done this. Uh, Insanity Lens on... Mm, go with the knife, I guess. Right, where's that grenade going? At Lekka, perhaps? Okay. All right, they're fleeing. All right, it wasn't too bad. We did get a lot of injuries, but that's two thousand potatoes, so it's kind of nice. Just don't forbid all that. Um, I don't think I saw a turret. I won't bother looting the um, constructions. Let's just scout the rooms, reform the caravan, and just get out of here quickly. We will get magically tended. Alright, there we go. Alright, how many potatoes can I actually carry is another question. 
Um, 2,000? All right, they're pretty light. That's great. So got some actual meals. Damn, we got loads of stuff. Don't think I'll bother with the awful beds or the tainted clothes. Uh, I guess some frag grenades don't hurt. We can probably sell the guns anyway, can't we? If I can carry them, I might as well get them. Same for the beer and the ambrosia. Yeah, I mean, that was a valuable little excursion. Right, Stout apparently has heat stroke. It's also currently nude, it looks like. We might not have been making any clothes for a while, because I've been, like, offloading all our textiles for cash a lot. And we probably haven't grown cloth in a while. That might be a new problem. Probably keep an eye on that. Let's see, bench. Right, so we, we're missing a parka, we're missing pants, we're missing a shirt. Yep, yeah, might be short on cloth then. Uh, I know, I mean, we've got enough for a shirt and stuff. That's not too bad. It should be fine. How long until we have some cotton? Uh, quite a while. 25% <laughs> grown. Hmm. What about this uh, Devil Strand stuff? 88 at best, 63 at worst. Hmm. And the caravan's home, excellent. Um, <laughs> no, my potatoes. So can I, wait, can I get you to drop the potatoes there so that all the animals don't just eat them immediately? And get someone to rope. There. Is there anyone nearby who does animals? Alright, Bram does animals, alright. Rope you quickly. God damn, all my potatoes. <laughs> Stupid animals. Would you have more? No. Okay. Well, hopefully the most of the potatoes will get hauled before they're all eaten. I don't have high hopes though. <laughs> Alright, the freezer's looking a bit healthier now as well. Got some meat and got some potatoes. Could get, start getting some more meals again. And uh, we have an Imperial Trader from the Broken Dominion. Let's see what they want to buy. Right, this trader has a few things that I would quite like. A few components and advanced components, some steel, uh, some cloth as well. I also saw an excellent charge rifle. I don't think we've had a charge rifle ever, so that sounds kind of cool as well. Um, pretty expensive though. I did notice also we don't have any jade now. Apparently at some point I set up um, large sculpture construction and then used all the jade to do it. Um, I feel like I should keep these to put them in places though because they're so good. But uh, that might be a good source of um, income though instead. Uh, I would at least like to keep one of the excellent ones maybe. Just offload the others. I think having an excellent jade sculpture would be pretty cool. Might as well get rid of this heart as well we've got, because we can always make a uh, bionic one. Get rid of the Altec staff as well. Probably for the best. Ah uh, yeah, excellent charge rifle. I'll have to find a good candidate to give that to. Is this inside the zone? No. Maybe Mamacho actually? Mamacho's got 14 shooting skill currently. He's got a double passion in it. He's currently just got a shotgun. It's not exactly making great use of his skills. Um, let's see. Did we haul that in yet? Oh wait, there it is. Yeah. 
We'll give it to him a match here. Hopefully he uh, makes good use of it. And uh, yeah, I think I might draw the episode to a close there. Might be a bit short, I'm not sure, but we got quite a bit done. Took out the, um, the sun blocker, got some potatoes, we're up to 200 meals now again. We're doing more uh, fine meals and stuff. Arms are back in business. I got some not very interesting constructions done, like... Got like, um, passageways outside all of the exterior doors now around this region. Uh, which is pretty good. Um, there's some development happening on the ship too, we've actually got like, the shelves are- Oh, these are taking weapons, that's a- <laughs> These shelves should not be taking weapons, why are they set up like that? Interesting. Are they all like that? They are. I guess I just turned on the thing I wanted but didn't turn off the default. Ah yeah, but there's the spaceship construction hangar. You know, progress here too. Exterior walls coming along, got doors in more places now. Uh, I think I brought in most of the stuff here as well, yeah, including the power generators. They just need to be placed. And we've got a proper room for mortars and stuff as well. Need more barrels. We did just buy one barrel, which is good. So we're back up to five mortars. Yeah, pretty productive episode. Um, I think most of the constructions we want done are finished now. It's just this and then the spaceship room. And at that point, I guess I'll put all my attention on the spaceship. Got drill set up for steel now as well. This one's doing steel. And still got this one doing steel as well. And then once these things are set up, we've got more steel here. So yeah, it's all going pretty well so far. Uranium here too, we need that. Uh, yeah. So as always, thanks for watching. Uh, hope you're enjoying it. And hopefully, as always, I will see you in the next one.